Hi, everybody. Welcome in to Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia. We're going to preview Saturday night's League's Cup matchup. I would say it's a huge game, but it's not. It's the East Group Group East 3 matchup between Inter Miami and Tigres of UANL. And it would be a big, big matchup if these teams hadn't have already qualified through their one win. They both defeated Puebla and therefore eliminated them, which basically means that this matchup is uh, to see who is going to be the East 3 winner and uh, the East 3 runner-up. But Inter-Miami has already clinched a home game, so they will host either Toronto FC or Pachuca in what will be a very meaningful game for those two. Sunday night, they play at BMO Field. This one is played at Houston's Energy Stadium, and it's going to be a meaningful game for the the fans there because obviously uh, it's going to be a pseudo-home game for Tigres, who just played in Houston at the Dynamo Stadium uh, over Puebla. They won 2-1, to one, and uh, so there will be a lot of spillover there, a lot of Mexican fans which uh, will, were looking forward to seeing Lionel Messi when this matchup was announced, and that's why it's being played at the Houston Texans Stadium instead of the Houston Dynamos. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get to see Inter-Miami, which is the top team in MLS at the moment, a team that's really been dominant. And uh, we'll just see what kind of uh, squad and, and dynamic Inter Miami pulls forward because it could be a great wide open match, or it could be one of those games where both teams pass the ball around and look not to uh, really exert themselves much. And we're just going to have to see how that goes. The uh, numbers here the total is at three, uh, with the under as the favorite at minus 115. The over is at minus 125. These are uh, DraftKings lines. And as far as the favorite, it's Tigres, plus 115. Uh, and Inter-Miami might take exception to that. Who knows? Inter-Miami is plus 190. And a draw, which is how I would bet this, is plus 280. And I bet this this way just because it really doesn't matter who wins. And you get more bang for your buck that way. I mean, uh, they'll, they'll go to penalty kicks, but that will not matter as far as paying you out. This is a, entirely a, a wager based on regulation. And if you can get plus 280 on a draw in a game that might end up exactly that, you might as well try to do so. Um, the Inter Miami employs a 4-3-3 uh, and uh, Tigres empo- employs a 4-2-2. Lots of Argentinians on the field for, for Tigres. You got their goalkeeper, Nahuel Guzman, Guido Pizarro, one of the defenders. Um, you know, they've, they've got a uh, a bunch of, of guys, uh, Nicolas Ibanez, they're one of their strikers, is from Argentina. They got one of the rare French players that has played in the Mexican league for years in Andre Pierre Guignac. Uh, so, and Guignac will probably be one of the top goal scoring props. Um, haven't seen official numbers there, but he is uh, the most likely to score, in my opinion, for Tigres. Tigres, uh, they beat Puebla uh, two to one at Shell Energy Stadium, uh, which is where the Dynamo play on July 31st in Liga MX. They have three wins and one draw. They've only allowed one goal in those four matches and have 10 points, which is at the top of the table alongside Pumas and Cruz Azul. Uh, While uh, Inter Miami leads MLS over their last 18 games since the CONCACAF Champions Cup quarterfinal defeat where they lost both legs to Monterey, Inter Miami has won 14, lost two, and tied two. And that's uh, with Lionel Messi missing most of those matches either to injury or to Copa America participation. They're averaging 2.3 goals per match and outscoring teams 42 to 27 uh, in that stretch. So certainly they've been playing high scoring games. So I wouldn't be mad at you if you wanted to take a shot at the over. I just don't know how this game is going to unfold. Uh, they won their match over Puebla at Chase Stadium 2-0. Uh, and so again, this is not a home game for them, even though most uh, MLS squads are at home for this League's Cup when pitted against Liga MX squads. That's not the case here. Um, you know, this was set up as a showcase game for Lionel Messi and Inter Miami. Uh, and Messi will not participate. Luis Suarez should, though. Suarez has been back in the mix uh, since playing for Uruguay at Copa America. You've got the two Spaniards that are uh, big names that play for Inter Miami, and Jordi Alba and Sergi Busquets, who will be in the mix. Um, uh, Federico Redondo from Argentina 
is also uh, part of the Inter Miami squad. Toto Aviles is back after missing the matchup against Puebla. He was uh, seen training. Shout out to Michelle Kaufman, a South Florida legend in terms of media. She uh, was at the Inter Miami uh, practice on Friday before they left from Fort Lauderdale to Houston to play in this matchup. David Beckham was there too. Uh, so we'll see w whether Beckham is going to be uh, at this match, uh, which again was supposed to be a lot bigger deal than it currently is due to circumstances. And uh, again, the bigger matchup is going to be Pachuca and Toronto FC Sunday night at BMO Field to see which one of those teams will play Inter Miami in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, and uh, at that point, we'll see whether that's inner miami being the number one seed or the number two seed depending on what happens against Tigres. but for our purposes we're going to bet the draw let's go for broke plus 280. i like that and uh, i'll take uh andre pierre guignac and uh let's go with uh robert taylor from finland who uh just secured a long-term extension and uh he played really well when Lionel you know, messi was out there he's also continued his production even without messi uh, so he's he's one to watch for Inter Miami, which again has been really dominant despite not having one of the best players in the world leading their charge like they normally would. And the the plan is still hopefully for Messi to be on board this Inter Miami squad for the late stages of this tournament. Uh, whether that's wishful thinking or not, we'll see given the state of that ankle at the end of Copa America. But uh, again, that's uh, that's the hope as Inter Miami looks to add some hardware to their collection. This match uh, will not determine much, but uh, it, it hopefully will be entertaining. So that's our play. We'll like the draw here, and we'll go with Gignac and Taylor as goal-scoring options. Smash that like button for me, and make sure you subscribe to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play in international football or American football as the NFL and college football get underway coming forward in the next few weeks. Uh, hope you're enjoying our Olympic coverage as well. You can follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Nero, spelling down there below. And you can check out my page at sportsmemo at sm.buzz slash TDM for all my package information and some free plays there. Uh, once again, draw here, plus 280. Let's let's go for the, go for the gold uh, as the inner Miami and uh, Tigres square off at Houston's Energy Stadium. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.